Hey guys, I'm Denise. And I'm Lindsay. And we're born this gay. Hey guys, welcome, welcome. Welcome to our channel. This is Born This Gay Podcast. Whoop, whoop. Yep, it's the show where two lesbians explore the experiences, challenges, and accomplishments of the queer community. Wow, did you practice that in front of the mirror? Oh man, no, yeah. but this is this setup makes it a lot easier. I yeah, like it. Yeah, I'm no, a it's fan. a lot more relaxed in here. Yes, yeah, yes. I like it. If you guys are new to our channel, um, this has our first episode filming with a couch and blankets and just holding our mics. I feel a little bit awkward, I'm not going to lie. Oh yeah, the mic up here is... Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I have know. to make a conscious effort to follow... With my hand. Oh, now off. now we're gonna get like a little close. <laughs> going away. We'll see. We'll yeah, see how the audio yeah. plays out. If you guys like it or not, we yeah, just try to keep it that distance apart. I guess. But this is like real podcasting. I see this all the time with like podcasts that I watch, is where they're holding yeah. the mic. And I'm I don't know like, how y'all do it. I feel awkward. Like I'm gonna keep <laughs> switching hands. I don't know what to do with my other hand. Funny. Yeah. Funny. Yeah. Um, this episode we're exposing double standards. Um, oh on yeah. Attractive scale. Yeah, because we all have them. I mean, and we're talking about like double standards, like. You know, for us, because we're lesbians, a guy will do it and we're like, oh my gosh, that is the most unattractive thing I've seen in the entire world. And then we turn around and a female's doing it and you're like, wow, Sexy. she's hot, right? Right. So I think we all have our own double standards, whether, you know, any side of the spectrum you're on. But um, yeah, today we're going to expose ours. Yeah, accurate, accurate. But before we do, guys, do us a solid. If you like our channel, if you're into gay content, if you want to see more gay con- content. Yep. Words. Words. English. <laughs> <laughs> um, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It really helps us out. Respect. Yeah, you guys, you guys are getting us the views and we really appreciate it. But let's show it with some a uh, little bit of thumbs up if you guys liked it. And definitely su- uh, subscribe. Words are hard. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So uh, before we start this, are you do you identify as a feminist? Do you th- think in general men and women should be treated equally? Yeah, I mean, yeah. We're, we're, we're both people. We both can do the same things. I loved the whole um, the feminist movement with the signs that say anything that you can do, I can do bleeding. Because, like, I know it's kind of like a... I've been told it's kind of like a primitive way to think, but, like, it kind of blows my mind that females of all species can bleed for, like, a week. And humans especially bleed for a week every month and still walk around. Like, they're alive. <laughs> like, that makes no sense to me. What? Like, how do you bleed for an entire week and you're still alive afterwards? Oh. So females are strong. We can do anything that anybody else can do. And I we agree. should get paid the same for it and treated the same for it as well. Yes, I agree. As far as, like, rights and everything, yes, every, everybody should be equal. It should be equal pay. It should, you know, equal rights. All, all that normal, good, serious jazz very much feminist yeah. however i'm human and there are things that men do that turn me off and there are things yeah. that women do that are the same thing same exact thing that turn me on yeah yeah so so but does that mean like because then you're you're kind of biased towards one bay but only on the attractive side of things oh yeah yeah no i mean the way i look at it is that we all have preferences mm. when we're um attracted to someone yeah okay right? I so that. that's yeah. that's the way i'm looking at this episode because i mean in all honesty i think in my opinion uh pansexuals do ex- like they do relationships better than anyone else because oh you know, didn't just, well, you were the one that brought it up that like a thousand years from now you think that everyone's gonna be pansexual like that's just gonna be the way of living. that is my theory that is hypothesis. that is an amazing theory <laughs> i really hope that that proves to be true yeah yeah, yeah. however I'm gonna, to, I'm gonna have to pull a futurama and then freeze myself and then see how it's like in a thousand years a demolition man yeah yeah, yeah. That's the generations talking. The differences. You said Futurama. I don't didn't know what you were saying about nope. that. And I'm, have you seen Demolition Man? Nope. But I'm okay. assuming it's good. the same concept. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. Oh it's good. yeah, it's a '90s movie with Sandy B. A Sandy Bullock. San, Sandra Bullock. Sandra. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Yep. Sorry. Third time's a charm on that one. Too <laughs> much. Guys, it's we'll the talk couch, y'all. It. It's the yeah. couch. I don't know what it is. It's a nice setting. I like it. I All like right. it. Yeah. All right. So, uh, what's something that men do that is gross what women do That's so awesome. i was a bartender for a long time i'm taking oh. a little bit of break i'm not saying okay. i'm retired but and every guy who comes up to the bar orders a beer it's just such a natural thing and i'm like you know beer doesn't even get you drunk like this tutti fruity drink that your girlfriend got has way more alcohol in it than your beer does but you know i'm not here to judge but if a girl comes up 
and orders a beer, I'm like, okay. Hey, hey, I see you. Like, I, don't ask me why, because like, oh, you can do a real drink, <laughs> <laughs> and it's so it's such a double standard. Yeah, and yeah, that's yeah. why I put it on there because okay. it is like such a double standard. But if a girl comes up and orders a beer at the bar, or especially a beer in a shot, oh, like that's I'm like, okay, so we're this is a night. Like, <laughs> Lindsay can fuck with you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, beer in a shot. That's what I drink. I go to the bar and I get me a beer in a shot. So, in my like opinion, that's the good. best, cheapest way to drink. If I see that, I most think that you're a bartender it doesn't matter boy or girl as you you order a beer and a shot either you're a bartender or, or service industry yeah like, you know yeah. what's up because or you're an alcoholic and yeah. you know how to get a good deal yeah because that it is the best deal that you can get at a bar <laughs> beer and a shot beer and shot i agree i agree actually now that you mentioned that i i got one for you in the same family that wasn't even on my list when i came in here um tipping so when a guy tips really well you know i'm like i'm okay. a little but also okay. at the same time, I'm, I'm like yeah. kind of grossed out by it. I'm like, why yeah, I'm are you tipping me? What, like, yeah. what were you looking at? You know, what were you thinking? Agreed. I was just your server. Nothing more. However, if, uh, lady, You're coming back, right? Yeah. Yeah. You tipped me. Why? Why? Yeah. Why did you, you like? You didn't did you look at my number. Ass? Like, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> it's a compliment when a girl tips me a lot. <laughs> but when a guy does it, I'm like, ugh. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah, that's that's a good one on the fly. Actually, <laughs> those service industry yeah. people out there, you guys know what we're talking about. Yeah, yeah, nice femme tipping high, and that means she, she yeah, yeah, yeah sexy. Yeah, yeah. Right. that's oh. funny. That's funny. Uh, okay, so one of mine on my list were uh, actually motorcycles. Mm. So I was like, the no as soon as we came up with this topic, I was like, motorcycles, because you know, when a guy flies by you on a motorcycle, the engine's really loud, or maybe he's on a crotch Jerk. rocket. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm like fucking douche yeah and then they got the long braided string flying back behind there you know what i'm talking yeah. about that hangs onto the, the yes. steering wheel yes yes yeah, exactly what you're talking yeah. about yeah, yeah. And i'm yeah. like what are you doing yeah it's so obnoxious there's glasses on and yeah maybe helmet off mm -hmm. i don't know just just jackass right <laughs> <laughs> however if i if if that same biker literally could be the exact same situation and I see the biker step off, maybe pull to the side, take off their helmet, and then you just see the the hair flowing down. I guarantee I will be sliding out of my chair. You sound like you've had dreams about this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, have you ever you you've never dated anyone with a motorcycle? No. Me. No. I've dated I dated a girl one time because her friends had motorcycles. And I it was just it was hot seeing you, a parade of yeah, lesbians. Yeah, like, go through I wouldn't stuff. say that would definitely be a plus in a relationship. <laughs> However, like I still have that that mindset that motorcycles are scary. Okay, like, yeah. I, yeah, you know, people okay. get hurt. You know, I'm, I'm one of those. People. Yeah, I know. I'm sounding like your wife now. Yes, yeah. <laughs> so my next one isn't necessarily like I find it attractive, but more on like I find it like cool. Like, oh, she's cool. Sagging pants. Oh. When a guy does it, I'm like. You know what that means, right? Like that came from prison. That means you're available tonight, and I like go like oh like I'm like I feel some type of way when a guy sags his pants, but when a butch does it, I'm like, that's cool. Like really, yeah. I'm like I need to be her friend. Like, can you teach me to dress like that? When you see like the underwear kind of popping, yeah, out or the... like the the basketball shorts underneath the oh, jeans. Okay, okay. I don't I don't know what it is about it, but that's I'm like the jock in you. The, yeah, that's it is the basketball it for team sure in you. Is, but when a guy does it, I'm like, oh yeah, Gross. douche. Like literally, yeah. ew. Like, do you know where that came from? Like, now pull up your pants. Pull up your pants. That's disgusting. <laughs> no one wants to see that. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, I don't find it like attractive, but I'm just like, wow, that's that's cool. I wish I could pull that off. That's a style that you yeah. like on females. Oh, definitely. Like on I'm talking women. like, okay. you know, the sag jeans with the basketball shorts with the rips in the jeans and okay. then the white Nikes. You know, you okay. know what you know, I know look exactly I'm talking about. Yes. Like, if I, I could pull that off. Head, yeah. Yes. Backwards hat. Yep. Okay. Pretty similar top to what I'm wearing now. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. that's totally my yeah. hidden fashion that I don't have the balls to do. Like the like the gangster chic almost like, yeah type of, yeah because okay. i can't fight so if anyone were to ever call me out on it <laughs> sorry i'll take it off i'm sorry <laughs> Lindsay just it's just the front i'm sorry <laughs> cute. cute yeah yeah um okay uh one of mine that was also kind of in the motorcycle family but you know different would definitely be a muscle car so for mm. some reason men are all you know they love their muscle cars yep. big on cars and to be honest as a as a um, masculine lesbian, you would expect me to be into cars. Like, you would expect me to be, you know, all about... I am not. 
Yeah. Like, Sam, that's Sam's, you know, that's her area. I mean, hey, you know how to change a uh, car's oil. I know. I don't, I couldn't tell you anything about a car. I know how to change a battery, and I know how to jumpstart a car. Hey, that's, that's a start. Yeah, that's how that's I started. Yeah. 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 Um, no, I mean, yeah, I can, I can fix things because of my job. So, yeah, that's, that's kind of where that goes in, or I just, I enjoy fixing things in general. But, I mean, as far as, like, seeing, seeing headlights in the distance and being like, oh, that's a 1957, you know. <laughs> <laughs> such and such engine, and I'm like. <laughs> not, yeah. not me. At all. And when guys get that way, and it's a lot of guys, like a lot of them, like my brother-in-law's big into cars, my, her father, my mm-hmm. father-in-law's, like he collects the classic cars, which he always wants to show me and he's But I feel of. like it's always come, like it's passed down through the generation, yeah, that, that love for the cars. Because like I had a childhood best friend and she's, she's straight, like through and through, but That's she nice. knows cars like that. And it's because her dad knows cars like hey. that. Well, my bestie, she loves cars, big fan. So yeah, I know that it's, it's, it's not really a men, female thing as far as the love of um, uh, expensive, nice muscle cars, but when a guy, great, okay, average, typical, you know, yeah, yeah I great. could have guessed. However, if a, fe- a female, especially femme, mm. if a femme is into some muscle cars and she can point out, you know, the headlight of a 19 whatever, whatever, Rolls <laughs> Royce or whatever it is, <laughs> yeah. then, you know, I'm, mm, mm. yeah. Yeah, like, I, it blows my mind that people can look at a car and then name the year right? of that car. I'm like... Right. I have to, like, guess every time someone asks me the year of my car. And I've had that since I was 16. And I'm like, ah. Oh. oh, yeah, 2008. 2008. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, the same way. I had to answer the same question. And I, I think my car is a 2000. Don't make fun of me. <laughs> I think. <laughs> it's I think. good. It good. As, as long as it rolls. <laughs> That's my. That, oh, man. We're going to start. Yeah. yeah. The argument between me and my wife for, for our entire relationship. <laughs> <laughs> my dad always raised me with, cause, especially because we live in Texas, as long as it can get you from point A to point B and it has a working AC. You're solid. You don't need a new car. It can get you there. It can cool you down. Great. I, yeah, me. So I haven't had a working heater in my car <laughs> for like two years. Uh, you don't really need it. Exactly. Either, yeah. Like it gets, gets cold, cold for like maybe a month. Here. Maybe. And then I'll just put on like two and a half jackets. Like that's true. Two two weeks ago we were in Alaska. Ter- three three weeks ago yeah. we were in Alaska territory, and today it's like seventy five degrees. Yeah, like I'm sweating right now. It's yeah. hot up here. Yeah, it's hot up here. Yeah. <laughs> Texas heat rises, man, and we're on the second floor. In blankets. In and blankets. And fucking couch. Yeah. 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 It's okay. Good. We'll just buy my hats holding a lot of it, so. <laughs> All right. What's your next one? My next one. Okay. Um, okay. So back again with the, um, like, bartending side of things. Like, it's, I feel like it's so um, common to see two guys break out in an argument. Mm. And it's just like, okay, move on. Like. Have a beer, calm down, like y'all will be fine. But like something about seeing two girls get up and start getting into it, I'm kind of like, okay. Oh, you like a cat fight? I mean, if you it's get turned on by a cat it's a free fight, show. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. Like I'm talking about, like I'm just talking about bickering. Like there's no okay. hands being thrown. It's not physical, but them just like arguing back and forth. I don't know. I'm just like interesting yeah. okay I, that that makes me anxious <laughs> i immediately i'm like oh god what's well, gonna yeah, happen like i mean i think i've never i've rarely i can't say i've never but i think out of the handful of girl fights that i've seen maybe like one maybe one broke out physically okay but okay. with men nine times out of ten it breaks into a physical fight like they don't know how to just communicate with words to a point where now it's like oh my muscles are bigger i'm gonna knock you out yeah let's take this outside yeah and then bar chairs are being thrown and it's just like a whole big deal but like when girls fight like they're argue back and forth and then next thing you know they're like oh i'm sorry i love you give each other a hug and then they order shots i'm like okay interesting that is very interesting okay okay i mean i could yeah, yeah, I, I, I can kind of see where you're going there a little bit because I feel the same way, but with MMA, you know, MMA oh. fighter. Oh yeah, I love watching the female yeah. fights. Oh like, that's, Jesus, man, I wish I could kick like that. That's Jeez. insane. Like <laughs> when I see, because I, I'm, I love MMA. Yeah, I could, I could watch MMA all day, and I, men, women doesn't matter. I could, because you know, I, I enjoy martial arts. However, whenever. When I see the female MMA fighters go at it, especially if it's a good match, mm-hmm. I, my my underpants get tighter. Like, it's well, just... I feel like there's that stigma around it where like girls, the only way they fight is they pull each other's hair and they just kind of like cat fight. 
But like to see actual two fighters who could kick the average person's ass. Yes. Up, down, left, right, and yes. back again. Like actually go at it. Like it's insane. Like they, Oh, extra sexy. They fight, fight. Like I'm like, okay, I could yeah. You know, grab a beer and Yeah. I'm watching this. Yeah. No, yeah. I am turned typically when I'm watching female Oh God. <laughs> You're about to say this on the internet. <laughs> when I'm watching female MMA uh fights, yeah, I do get turned on. It's it's almost automatic it happens i would probably equate a female mma match to watching the l word like almost the same level huh. of turn wow on. yeah which is sad because i watch a lot of mma fights with my guy friends which is <laughs> unfortunate. the last people you want to be watching that with it's like we're watching porn together so. <laughs> what a way to describe that that's amazing <laughs> um all right so uh one of mine what am I? Oh, what am I next one? Kind of in the bar uh, area, but a little bit is a uh, cigar smoking. Cigar smoking. Yes, yes. So typically, smokers were a no for me. I say that, and I'm, I'm yeah. married to a smoker, um. So there's always a chance, but uh, typically, I, I didn't. I mean, I didn't. I wasn't unattracted to you if you smoked, but it mm-hmm. wasn't like a plus, right, for you in any way, right. Um, however, for some reason, and this is cigarettes, but for some reason, cigars, cigars, like seeing a big old cigar in a guy's mouth while he's playing poker, ah, great. But if I see a girl okay. playing poker with like the big cigar and the puff is going out and she has, you know, her cards in front of her hand, oh man, wow, yeah, that's. Great. that's- we're finding out a lot about each other this oh, episode. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm glad Sam's coming home soon. Yeah. This is... <laughs> Let's see. Next for me, I'll... this one's kind of funny, but um, like being like cocky or full of yourself or overly confident funny. is probably the word I would use. Yeah. Like when a guy does it, it's so annoying. Like, get away from me. Get out of my face. No, I don't want to go home with you. Leave me alone. But like when a girl does it, I'm like... Okay. Okay. Keep going. Uh, Keep going. <laughs> like, yeah, show me what you're about. Like, that's, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, I have no problem with, like, an overly confident girl. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So, like, makes you, like, you have no, like, cause now I'm picturing you as a simp to, like, this really hot, hard femme is kind of. I mean, I don't know. If, uh, I was briefly with a dancer. Okay, yeah, yeah. Briefly. So you, and you had simp vibes a little bit. Yeah, you know? no, for <laughs> sure, for sure. I, yeah. And, like, she had every right to be as confident as she was. Oh, hell like, yeah. I was, yeah, I would go watch her um, work, and she would just run that stage, and I was mm, hey. enjoying the show. Like, <laughs> I don't I had no problem with it, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Lindsay's like, I'll hold your pocket. Yeah, I got you, I got you, I got you. Oh, that's good. Okay, I could see that. Actually, um, I put this question on a Facebook group, a gay Facebook group, and um, asked a couple other people. And for some reason, cocky was was definitely up there. Like, you know, well, I also feel like there's a lot of females that are just so insecure. Like, I just they're so in their head, and then they get so like, what what's the opposite of conf insecure? Insecure, yeah, 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 the opposite of confident, yeah. And so where they just kind of you know walk with their head down, um. I don't know, like, it, it makes me sad, but, like, someone who's, like, gotten past that stigmatism, to stigmatism and is just, like, out loud and borderline obnoxious, I, like, that's amazing. Like, good for them. So someone with, like, like, bet energy is kind of... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like, like, boss woman. Yes. Like, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I could see that. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, run me. I don't care. Run my world. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here for the ride, honestly. <laughs> Oh, okay. I could see that. Um, one of the things that I got on that Facebook, which is kind of in the realm, which uh, I guess can go in this area, not not typically one of mine, but I could see it being attractive, is a uh, mansplaining, mm. right? So that's what they said. They're like, for some reason, you know, obviously a guy does it. It's annoying as shit, right? But if uh, a a female tries to, you know, mansplain about whatever topic that she's passionate about or something like that, for some reason, it's a really hot, yeah thing man mansplain what is that exactly um so whenever a guy mansplains it's typically him explaining something to you because he thinks you don't know 
anything about it because you're female. So, like, oh. when, like, okay, let's go back to the car analogy. When he's like, oh, yeah, no, um, you need to get your oil changed because, you know, oil changes every 3,000 miles. You need, you know, he just, he starts going on and on. Interesting. I just call topic. that a, a lecture, and honestly. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't need to be lectured. <laughs> Got you. Got you. Yeah. Interesting. But when a, when a female does it to you, it's just like, okay, keep talking. Yeah. Yeah. Keep and it talking. happens at work a lot because we have, these two engineers, male, female, right? And ironic. I mean, they have the same background. They're mm-hmm. both mechanical engineers. They both, but for some reason, the guy just always feels the need to explain the topic she already knows about to her. To her, mm. yeah. yeah, yeah. And he's yeah. such a nice guy too. It's just I, I don't know. Just the, I don't. I guess. Yeah. I mean, it's just if you're brought up a certain way, that's all you know. I guess. I guess. I'm not sure. But yeah, apparently. To some some lesbians out there mansplaining. Sexy for women, gross for men. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. All right. Uh, one of mine, we went through MMA, so I'll just say this out out there is sports. Just yeah. in general. Oh, yeah. That, that's jocks, definitely on my, my yeah. list. Yeah. Guy jocks, great. Okay. You're good at it. Awesome. Good. Actually, I'm, I'm very proud of you. I really enjoy jocks. People who are talented. And it's fun and to watch. Great. Yeah. Like, no, yeah. it's fun to watch. But, like, watching a female be... Just really good at sports. Just really athletic, I think, is what it yeah. is for me. Okay. Yeah. Like, oh, let me think. Like, Tony Hawk. Awesome. Mm-hmm. Love the guy. Serena Williams. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> the th- I would climb that tree so fast. <laughs> All right. You'd have to rock climb up those thighs. Oh, <laughs> man, though. I, happily. No, that's <laughs> funny. <laughs> <laughs> Easy. Oh, yes. Yeah, Serena call me okay so. yeah because i mean the i would i will admit like the nba like they're you know more fun to watch they have more dunks they have more trick shots but when it comes down to it like it's just a really big scoring game like they don't yeah it was they don't do the fundamentals like the females do like that's always the argument but i mean like to actually watch a group of like females play the game of basketball otherwise other than just scoring as many times as you can score like playing defense like i don't know no, I mean, I'm, I'm probably biased because I did play basketball, mm-hmm. but I preferred watching the girls over the guys yeah. all day, every day. I mean, the guys, they got higher. Um, the jumps were a lot higher. They were they're, doing, they're cool. It's yeah. cool to watch. Yeah, yeah But definitely. it's not as entertaining. But the, I was about to say, the girls got more physical. Yeah. Like, there was more passion behind mm-hmm. it. There was more hustle. There was Yeah, you couldn't you get know. to the basket as easy, so you had to do yeah. things to get yeah. there, yeah. Versus guys who just jump over each other. So, yeah. Yeah. So, I could see that, and... I mean, I can go through all sports. Same thing with, like, you know, motocross. I see a guy doing motocross. You know, great. Cool. That's yeah. badass. That goes back to your motorcycle thing. Yeah, that's true. And snowboarding, though. Because oh. I feel like a lot of people think that oh. females just ski. They don't really snowboard. But, like, they snowboard. They're, oh, yeah. I'm one of them. But not well. No. Yeah, no I've never all. done it. But I would definitely snowboard over skiing. Oh, good luck, bro. Yeah. Well, I did the little the, the rip stick as a kid. Okay. So it might be, you might somewhat but then again i skateboarded as a kid that's true and snowboarding embarrassed me <laughs> <laughs> yeah i feel like i'm almost too old to go now at this point because no. there's gonna be five-year-olds on the slopes yeah. just like zooming past me i and told I you my nine-year-old story right yeah yeah, okay. yeah. good shit yeah because yeah no that's exactly how the, but that's how kids are with everything that's right? true same thing with cliff jumping i was it took me 30 minutes to jump off of a 30 foot cliff or anyway and mm-hmm. by, by the while i'm taking 30 minutes this one little eight-year-old girl sure did zoom past me and jump off the cliff no no worries no fear three times <laughs> <laughs> three different times yeah Climbed back up just we yeah. yeah it must be nice to just live worry free uh, like kids do like that i think the older you get the more you think about risks and what would happen to your body or yeah. your life you yeah know, you well now that i'm an adult now i think about like oh my gosh if i were to break my leg like that's it like how am i gonna work. pay for rent i can't like, i can't <laughs> eat like that's like a death sentence just to break my leg so good yeah fucking getting older yeah that's scary what a scary thought (laughs) adulting yeah um okay so it was that oh mine was sports yeah so you're up so i had that was my next one oh really too yeah yeah good at sports yeah um i suppose this goes back on the man mansplaining thing but like intelligence or like um like a nerd like nerdy guys like you know they're just no they're they're sweet they're nice but like a nerdy girl i'm like let's take off those glasses flip that hair back and boom like hey. <laughs> one of those movie reveals kind of deal That's so like just the really really intelligent person oh yeah yeah i mean for me that's where 
it, both. I I very much I I love a very intelligent guy. Um, I love a very intelligent girl. It's definitely on my attractive scale. It used to be one of the things that I needed from you, but then I opened my doors and I've dated some some not so smart people before. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, no, that's definitely if you're a nerd. See, I'm I'm the opposite with you. Don't take the glasses off. Keep them on. <laughs> Keep them on. Keep them on, please. On. <laughs> Funny. Oh yes, actually, that's what Sam did too. Um, when she found out I liked girls with glasses, it was the next, literally the next day, and that's how I that's how I for sure knew she was into me. Is the next day she started wearing glasses. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Sam, just dropping those hints as she, she goes. She sure did. <laughs> she sure did. And she I said, "I'm not openly hitting on you, but like, come hit this." Yeah. Yeah, basically, but I couldn't hit it, but it's fine. All right. <laughs> but y'all are married now, yeah, so yeah. it's okay. It works out. Bridge. Yes, <laughs> yes. Good job, babe. Good job. She got me. Um, okay, so I I have a quite a couple. few more than I do. Yeah, well, I, again, started thinking of them and then was asking people, too. So we're just going to go through a couple. Yeah, we still got some time. We're going to go through a couple of these. So Let's do it. So, yeah, so we went to uh, Muscle Cars. I, I definitely said that. Mm-hmm. Uh, same thing with fixing shit, you know. For some reason, a guy can fix shit, and it's, I actually it's almost expected him. at yeah, that, yeah. that point. Yeah, but a girl can fix shit, and I, the floodgates have opened. Yeah, no, like we, um, my girlfriend uh, ordered some shelves off of uh, Amazon. They came in, and I was like, "How do we put these up?" Like I had no idea, and she's like, "Oh, you just got to put the anchors in, and then this, and then that." I was like, "You got to do what?" And then what? I was like, "What are anchors?" And she just put those shelves up in like twenty minutes, and I was like, "Hmm, all right, so." bed yeah yeah <laughs> what else can you put up like, <laughs> i know something that's up right now i know <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah no but fixing things or building things just being good with their hands oh hell yeah hell yeah female engineers i'm very much attracted to um and it was really hard to be in school and like as as someone who went to school for engineering didn't finish dropped out mm-hmm. but as someone yeah. who went to school for engineering um there was always maybe one other woman in my class out of a class of like a hundred yeah and that's like, crazy one, that's crazy maybe two and be like me and like two other people and it the, um, almost never mattered what she looked like always immediately attracted immediately hmm. like just oh you're in this class yeah, hey, do you want to can i borrow a pencil hey. how you do <laughs> yeah 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 exactly um so, I mean, I guess that kind of goes with your intelligence thing. Because, I mean, in order for them to be in that class, they have to have a certain level. Some level of intelligence. Oh, hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Engineering's no joke, guys. You need math. If you want to be an engineer, you need math. I remember looking at some of your homework. Oh, yeah. You were around that time. Yeah. I was around that time. And um, that's uh, like an alien language. It is. Like, there's sentences within the math problem. <laughs> that, why math is numbers that doesn't make any sense no there's a uh, calculus three i would equate to hieroglyphics that's how the wow. class i feel like i took yeah no that was not english there's triangles no. i was like what is a triangle what what number is that <laughs> yeah that's actually that means a whole phrase of shit yeah that's crazy yeah. that is crazy I, I got past x we did y and then we did z on the graph that's the extent of my alphabet within math knowledge i was in the level of math that you know you have your college ruled paper and you take up one line right Mm -hmm. so we have some symbols that would take up three lines and then in those three lines you're also filling out the other three lines with like normal numbers like like one math problem took you three pages oh it was bad it was bad Uh, yeah that was crazy (laughs) Yeah, Yeah. yeah i felt so bad for you i was like well i wish i could help her but like I would just be asking questions the whole time. That was also one of the worst parts is the fact that it's not like I can go to an expert. Because I can't go. Even if I went to an engineer now and tried to ask them a calculus three question, it's one of those subjects that they make you learn. Yeah. You truly only use when you're. Yeah. Like, it's good to know how the software does it nowadays. But now everybody just has software. It just does it for you. For you. Yeah. Yeah. Let the mathematicians worry about that. Right. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, that was that was some crazy stuff. I I was looking at you doing that, and I was like, do I want to go to college? <laughs> <laughs> That's a skewed view. Very skewed. Yeah. But fuck. Yeah, it's calculus. Actually, I and mean, I'm going back. I just got um, accepted uh, back into my college. They just accepted me for my application. And shit oh, like nice, so, yeah. nice. In fall, I will be taking a math class. Because you you, uh, you stopped a little bit for because um, of COVID, right? Like yeah. you didn't like how the classes were. Oh hell no! Out. They raised my tuition and. and you weren't even the going level to school. of education was horrible yeah 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 and i'm one of those weird people that actually enjoys school so i feel like i was weird. getting ripped off yeah i know yeah, I it's know. very weird yeah. Yeah, i don't really enjoy the work but i do enjoy being in the classes and getting extra you know getting learning and learning i enjoy learning there That's you go you it, enjoy I learning i mean i i do enjoy learning to an extent it's just the homework that gets me oh yeah not everyone i'm gonna go on record and say everyone loves to learn you hear me yeah everyone loves to learn you just decide what you like to learn some people like to learn what the new characters lives on their favorite tv show is Mm -hmm. doing that day Um, yeah the rabbit holes you dive down on those deep internet searches you like to learn it's just what you like to learn exactly yeah i could see i could see that yeah yeah, the need for knowledge is, I feel like, a natural human instinct. That's why TikTok is so big. Yeah. That's why social media, YouTube, is so big. Is because we do. We do love free education. Even if it doesn't seem like education, if we're just watching satisfying videos of someone cutting soap. We yeah. want to know what the other end of that soap looks <laughs> what like. What is that going to look like yeah. when it's done? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Um, wow. Tangent. Sorry, guys. Yeah, a little bit. So back, <laughs> back to uh, Denise's sexy list. Um so out of the things on here, oh, uh, one that's kind of out of the realm of all of this is uh, playing drums. I know, kind of weird, just to put that tangent on there. Yeah. Um, but for it was it stems back from one of my roommates. So one of my I had a roommate who was a musician, and he great musician too. Multi like he could just pick up instruments and play and just play. Them. That's amazing. Yeah. That is one talent I always wish I had. Me too. And he just and he would look at. Okay, so he was a violinist Ooh. and a violist. Wow. Um, but I and I had a cello, right? Mm. So, um, and I used to know how to play the cello. But he would pick up my cello and know how to play it, and then I would pick up my cello after you know a couple years and not being rusty and, and not I could being not able to play, play it. it that's the way crazy. He could. Yeah, yeah. To um, have musical knowledge, that's right. Yeah. Sorry, tangent city it goes back to my attractive <laughs> story. Um, he once said, just out of the blue, he's like, "Yeah, if I have a daughter, I'm gonna teach her how to play drums." Because there's nothing sexier than a, a woman who knows how to, a, a female drummer. Well, and once he said that, I was like, actually, that is really sexy. Yeah, I, w- I was, I was like 10 to 12 years old. And I got tickets to go to a Maroon 5 concert for Christmas. Huh, okay. And the band opening for Maroon 5 was Neon Trees. No fucking way. Okay. They have a female drummer. Yeah, sexy. I couldn't figure out why the whole time they were performing, I could not take my eyes off of her. They even did a whole song where she was the lead singer of that song and also had a drum solo. Oh, the smart, smart PR. Good job. Playing the drums and singing perfectly at the same time. I was 10, and I'm like, hmm, oh. what? <laughs> I'm so confused. He's like, I'm having feelings. Uh, I don't yeah. know what these feelings are. Not to mention the person who took me was my babysitter at the time because oh. my dad was out of town and my mom got sick. And my babysitter, I think she was like, you know, 15, 16 years old. So, of course, she was like, hell yeah, I'll go to, I'll go to a, t- or a concert with her. I didn't know it at the time, but looking back on it, I definitely had a crush on my babysitter. Oh, funny. So I'm out of the concert with the crush I have on my babysitter. And then I'm also looking at this female drummer and I'm just helplessly confused. (laughs) I didn't even enjoy the concert and they were my favorite band. I had so many feelings that I did not know what they were. Interesting. That's such a good... Okay, that's a good Yeah, the only thing I remember about that concert, I don't remember Moon 5 playing. I don't remember them singing Animals. I don't remember them singing whatever the other famous song that they have. I just remember looking at that drummer the whole time. 
Is she still with Neon Trees? I have, I don't know. I have not followed Neon Trees since okay. then. Yeah, okay. I, I'm telling you, they're so deep in the closet. I was like, I can't. I can't watch that. Lindsay has trauma. It's yeah, for myself. Like, no one told me to feel bad about it. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I was just in my own head about it. It's funny. That is good. I mean, I, yeah. I, I mean, I was much older. But this past year, I got to see Evanescence in concert. Oh, um, Which yeah. is, yeah, so good. Yeah. Amy Lee. Um, amazing amazing woman um however i didn't look at i barely looked at her because and i guess i didn't because i've seen her in concert before but maybe she either didn't have this guitarist or this is the first time i've seen this guitarist but there was a female guitarist with very shane vibes like she had that Um, haircut haircut, she had the she had the you know the 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 bracelets yeah yeah, okay okay. and i was just like yeah same thing fixated couldn't get my eyes off of her i ended up looking like at their like evanescence instagram later (laughs) just to see if i could figure out who she was like it was yeah yeah female musicians y'all are hot yeah yeah it's it's yeah it's attractive yes 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 it is um but yeah playing drums another one was uh boots mm. boots for me guys okay yeah boots great but a girl on either and it can be any boots it could be cowboy boots it could be work boots mm. and even better combat boots oh and now we're getting to the whole like female in uniform oh subject. jesus christ but i feel like that's a stereotype for everybody oh yeah everybody has that in one uniform. a female oh, yes. in uniform oh. what yeah you can handcuff me anytime Let it take, take me away let's yeah. go I will follow willing. We, there's no <laughs> resistive arrest right here. <laughs> Let's go. Love it. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Boots. Uh, and then, um, oh, another one. Okay. So, this might be a trigger for me. So, a southern accent. <laughs> right? So, if I, and this is literally a trigger. And I think it does have to be with the fact that I'm in the engineering field. So, typically, my job um, I deal with a lot of mechanical engineers and I deal with a lot of maintenance men whenever mm-hmm. I go travel to fix whatever they need. So, God, this is going to sound very stereotypical or something. I'm discre- I'm being biased. I'm not sure. I'm about to be very culturally inappropriate. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I get a lot of Southern accents. Oh, anytime. interesting. Yeah. Mechanical. And, like, it's funny. It's, like, mechanical engineers are usually the more rural country like Mm. that's usually same thing maintenance men like i get yeah like so a thick southern accent on a guy triggers me interesting immediately i'm just like oh it just makes you think about work maybe or it makes me think makes me think political too uh, like i start getting fears i start like are you homophobic like what are your beliefs Uh, yeah exactly (laughs) yeah but a southern accent on a femme Mm, okay wow i feel like that also ties into the cowboy boots then oh yeah yeah actually and i didn't even know i had that um attraction uh to the accent until i dated someone with a southern accent interesting yeah Yeah. i dated her with a southern accent and i literally could because voices used to do something for me it would either make me attracted to you or not um, especially if it was too high pitched for some reason, I I wasn't attracted to you if I heard your voice and it was too high pitched. I know I'm I'm a shit bag, but it's fine. No, that's just I've never heard. Of, I mean, my thing is hands. If I don't like your hands, okay. we can't date. I, okay, I, I just I look at people's hands a lot. And if you. you don't have nice hands, I'm sorry. You just that, checking that out women's really, packages. It may that... be really shitty of me, but <laughs> <laughs> I suppose that's the equivalent. <clears throat> Oh, so you are a size, what is it, a size queen or whatever it is. <laughs> Something like that. So in, but no, it's more the in. anesthetically, like, I don't know. I think hands are very attractive or very ugly. Okay. So if you have ugly hands, I I don't okay. know. She, yeah. she can't fuck with you. Sorry. Um, I feel like, yeah. Yeah. So. So, yeah, I don't know so the country thing. Southern accents. So, yeah, Interesting. Southern accent, I don't well, know. I mean, in high school, when I was so deep in the closet, I couldn't figure out why. When I was listening to country music, I always listened to it from the point of view of the guy singing it. Oh. Singing about the tan lines and the ripped jeans. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, yeah. I mean, I wouldn't mind looking at that. Hey. Like, yeah. <laughs> no, Lindsay wasn't gay at all. No, not at all. No, no. Nope. Nope. Very straight things. Very straight. All right, so I guess um, that'll probably round up our um, double standards for the day. Yeah. Um, now we're going to do our next segment, which we like to call the uh, Coming Out Corner. Is that what we named it? Yeah, I guess. Coming Out Corner. I, we still, we're still right. We're, we're yeah. gonna... Well, we're, we're going to spitball. We'll probably throw a def- couple different names. Yeah. And um, y'all let us know which one you like best. Let's, yeah. let's do that. Let's make a game out of it. 
Yes. All right, but this coming Closet out stories. corner. I don't know. Closeted stories. Hmm. So we'll come up with something. We'll figure catchy. it out. Yeah. All right, all right. Yeah. Yeah. But we are going to share some uh, coming out stories. Um, if you guys are new to our channel, this is something that we like to do towards the end of all of our episodes. Um, just showing that you guys are not alone and um, everyone has their own way of coming out and everyone should be celebrated for it. That's right. All right. You want to go first? Yeah, I'll go first. <laughs> all right. Um, so this one I have had in my phone for a while, so I definitely Ooh. wanted to like throw it on here. Okay. Uh, but it's from a, uh, Instagram account. Guys, if you're in the DFW area, I highly recommend a, uh, Instagram account called Local Queer, Local Queer DFW. Um, they have a little LQ, um, C in their icon as far as like their profile picture. But yeah, awesome account. They tell you, uh, great events around the DFW. They'll tell you like when, a famous lesbian is in town or doing some type of stand-up show. They're an awesome account. But anyway, for October, <clears throat> they decided to do or highlight coming out stories. So I clipped a couple um, in my phone and I'm sharing it now. So this is from Emily Ishash- Ishaheen. I hope I pronounced that correctly. All right. So just jump right in. My coming out story was more recent than not. I came out in 2020 while I was in a long-term relationship with a man. Oh, wow. I know. Mm, okay. Well, I suppose it depends what they came out as. So. That's true. That's, that's true. Let's okay. keep reading. I explained to him I felt more as if I felt love with what's within someone and it didn't matter who they were or what they were. Man, woman, gay, trans, queen, etc. Oh, you're pan. Oh. That's okay. awesome. Yeah. Love it. That's exact. You are the future. <laughs> Um, okay. He was very supportive and actually discovered he himself felt as though he was bi and was attracted oh. to both sexes. Look wow. at that. She helped him come out too. What a Man. positive couple. Yeah, I was about to say, um, kind of a match. I was say next and, sentence. Oh, okay. Well, the relationship didn't end up lasting. <laughs> <laughs> That's not funny. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We were just rooting for it. It looked, it looked solid. <laughs> and I moved to Dallas about two years ago and decided to finally embrace who I was and be proud of how and who I love. Ooh, That's good for right you. Yes. That's the way it should be. Yes, yes. Um, my family has been accepting states away and I got a chance to be the subject in a queer dating show. <gasps> And found I felt much happier and at ease when I was comfortable truly embracing me. I mean, yes, girl, but you went on a queer dating show? What's the name of that show? Do they like You're air? In Dallas? What? Wow. We had a queer dating show? Do they have like a live audience? I would love to just go Bro. watch. Talk about a field trip. Right. All right. Okay. So if you ever see this, Miss Emily Shaheen, I please comment, respond, DM me. Yeah, I want to know more about this queer dating show. That's great. It sounds like fun. We don't ever get queer dating. We don't ever get dating shows. I didn't even know they were still a thing. If I'm being honest, oh, they are actually. It was. I, know, a, I mean, I have speed dating. It was a big deal. I want to say a couple months ago. Like it just fairly happened. It, like yeah, it was pretty recently, or maybe it was a year ago. Oh, we I got mean, like Bachelor. The Bachelor. I forget yes, that that we show. Did. For some reason, that show is so blocked. From my brain, I refuse to think about that show. We had a bisexual bachelor. I remember at- that, yeah. And then they have the whole like Love is Blind and then on Netflix. Oh, yeah, and, then- and we had Love Island. Apparently, mm. we had a Love Island. Remember that? Episode. Did you ever watch Love on the Spectrum? No, but I wanted to. Solid. I, really I recommend need it. To. I re- yes. It's so, it's wholesome. Yes, but like, okay. it's so cool to watch. Like, these people go out and date and then they'll have a conversations and if they find out that they don't like the same things within the first 10 minutes, they're like, all right, well, bye. Oh, like, it's so, in my opinion, it's, it's healthy dating. Like you, Hell yeah. right in the first five minutes, like you guys don't get right, along. This isn't going to work out. Yeah. Right, bye. bye. Who's bye. wasting their time? Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's very, it's, it was a very neat watch. No, Highly I'll recommend it. it. Yeah. So do you know what streaming service it's on? Netflix. Okay. Yeah. Love yeah. On the spectrum. I'll have to look at that Love for on the sure. Spectrum. For sure. For sure. All right. Um, so I guess next is yours. Next is mine. Ooh. All right. So I got this coming out story off of that neat website we found uh, probably about a month or two back at this point. Um, when I came out dot com. Guys, we're still waiting for y'all to send us your stories. Please do. I'd love to stop reading off this site, but in the end, it's uh, working out for us. Hey. All right. So um, this person comes out or they label themselves as non-binary, 21 and lesbian. When I came out, it was at a Christmas party with friends in August. 
Because oh. that makes sense. Wait, what? Yeah. I a mean, Christmas party with friends in, in August. August. Maybe that was the only time they could all get together. Holidays that are a very is, busy season. That wow. I mean, I mean, actually, that sounds quite pleasant. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Denise has come to um, despise the holidays. I have, I have, but having a Christmas party. I mean, if we could break it up and I don't have to run around the entire town in mm-hmm. one day, that would mm-hmm. be yeah. So actually, that sounds great. Okay, continue. Okay. Okay. As it happens, at every house party with my friends and me, we ended up in the kitchen and got emotional and sentimental. Oh, man, if I had a dollar for every time that happened. (laughs) Jesus Christ. You would have so much money. Oh, my God. (laughs) Okay, yeah. Fuck. Denise is the one still in the kitchen like, guys, this song is so good. Come on. (laughs) And everyone's crying and hugging. I love you. (laughs) Denise is like, party. (laughs) Okay. Funny. One of my friends suddenly asked me if she could ask me a question, and I agreed. The question was, boys or girls? I said, girls. And nobody was surprised, and everything was fine. The only thing they wanted to know is if I was dating someone at the moment. Hey, that's awesome. Yeah. Um, one of the things yeah. I liked is that the the nobody was surprised. <laughs> like, I feel like that's like a like for me when I came out like everyone was just like oh I knew it like uh, and it was just like why make a big deal out of it like it was my thing to make a deal out of and then oh, yeah. I feel like other people are feeding into that energy but the fact that her friends were just like yeah cool are you dating anyone right now like why didn't you bring them so obviously you and this girl had BD like pretty yeah, big dyke energy oh there you go yeah, I was like BD I'm gonna have to refresh <laughs> my okay, okay. my slang terms a little bit here love it, love it. well that's yep. badass I love it. We've definitely come a long way in these past couple years. It's great. Yeah, for sure. That is that's awesome. Good for you. Okay, guys. Well, I guess now it's time for us to sit s- straight and talk gay. Sit straight, talk gay. That is what we decided to call this yes. segment. I like that. Except I'm sitting on a couch. Something about couches make me not want to sit up very straight. Okay, let's oh. sit up straight here. Okay. <laughs> Sounding old over there. Oh, you be nice. <laughs> I just dropped my drink in my lap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's okay. I didn't pee myself when we get up. Yeah. You know, okay, I'm gonna still gonna call you out on it. All right, sit okay. straight. So and talk I want to know what's how. How's life been, bro? How's your Valentine's Day? We just celebrated what a couple weeks ago. Yeah, yeah. You know, my Valentine's Day was pretty solid. Um, I ordered my girlfriend's gift on the sixth of February. What'd you get her? Um. There's this thing, it's called print your songs. So it's oh. like, it's like a plexiglass plaque and you put a picture of you on it and you put your favorite song and it looks like a Spotify playlist. So like the picture of you is like the picture of the song then it has the song then you put your date then it has like a play bar and then a pause continue oh, and then it has a little like cute. in the corner. Yeah. So I ordered that and I was so excited for it. I picked one of our favorite pictures of us right now, put our song on it, um, just the two of us. Did and you then, order it on Etsy? It sounds like an Etsy thing. Instagram. Well, I found them on Instagram. Okay, cool. Yeah, it was like an ad that popped up. Oh, and yeah. I was like, I was mad that the ad got me. I'm not going to lie. I'm that person. Like, if ads get me, I'm like, mm, you paid money for this and it worked. I don't like that. I, I love it. So yeah. It, you're tailored to me. All right. Good <laughs> algorithm. Okay. Yeah, go. no. So I got that and I paid for expedited printing. I was like, you know, I'm ordering this kind of close. Okay. Um, so, like, let's move it to the front of the line. I paid for, um, you know, insurance in case it got damaged or lost or stolen or anything like that. And I was like, all right, cool. It should hopefully be here. Like, the projected date was the 13th. For the record, how how close was it? <laughs> Come on. Come What's on. today's date? The 28th? Yeah. Um, it came in on the 19th. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Bro. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, came in on the nineteenth. So I worked Valentine's Day morning, and I got off at four thirty. My girlfriend wasn't set to get off till six. When the you package paid for didn't the show, expedited printing. I didn't pay for expedited shipping. Okay, okay, okay. Which hindsight, I should have just paid for the expedited shipping because, yeah. like, I printed it. I had them print it really fast, but then it. The way they do their orders is they just make a whole bunch of them. And then batch ship s- it. Batch ship it. So I, yeah, it was printed first, but then it just sat in a tub the for fuck? two weeks. Yeah, I was pissed. It yeah. took two weeks and two days to come in. That's but bullshit. Okay. It's fine, whatever. Okay. So we get to Valentine's Day, and I'm like, crap. I have nothing. Because I was 100% relying on that gift to come in. So I was just like every other boyfriend, husband, late gift giver out there. I went to Target. 
And I saw everybody, all, all these poor husbands, just running around scrounging for flowers, trying to find gifts. And I'm yeah. like, I hate that I'm one of these people yeah, right now. I understand. I got you. Okay. I, I hate that. So yep. I ended up getting, I put a makeshift basket together, filled it with a whole bunch of her favorite candies. Right. Um, got stuff to make chocolate-covered strawberries, um, flowers, and a really soft, fluffy blanket. Hey. Just boom. Set. I was, Beautiful. yeah. Good shit. She thought that was the gift. So when I told her something else was coming, she was like, what? Amazing. Yeah, wow. yeah. But get this. I waited that long for the gift to come in, right? Mm -hmm. I had put our anniversary on there, which is supposed to be April 21st, 2021. Yeah. We were looking at it, and she said, why does it say June? Damn. Fuck. Oh, I mean, that's a great story, though. <laughs> that's a great story for later. Like, that was awesome. and that's what she said. She's like, that's going to be a great story. And I'm here kicking myself in the butt. I'm like, why did I put June? So good. And she was trying to give me the benefit of the doubt. She was like, well, maybe like they messed it up. And I was like, yeah, you know, maybe she's like, well, you should check. And I'm like, I don't want to, because then I'm going to know for sure if I was the one who messed it up. And I'm like, why would I put June? I don't. I don't know, man. I don't. Did you check? No, I don't you want to. I don't want to know for sure. I don't want to know for sure. You know, good. ignorance is bliss. Okay, I so feel that. Yeah, we're yeah. just gonna leave that in the dark. So good. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah well, I, how I, was your Valentine's Day? Oh, it, oh, I have a story as well. Um, but before we get there, I just listened to our Valentine's Day episode from last year because oh. I had to edit it to put it up. Yeah. Um, and you've come a long way, motherfucker. Why you say that? Jesus Christ. Last year, Valentine's Day. That's why I was going to ask about your mom. But uh, last year for Valentine's Day, you had... Uh, you hadn't. You had just applied the specs. Also, oh, I had no money. You had no money, no money whatsoever. So you used, and this is on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> you used the money that your mother was gonna send you, or she was gonna, because I guess she normally sends you a gift or something yeah. for Valentine's Day, but she was gonna send you money instead because the chocolates would melt in the mail. Mm -hmm. so I literally just listened yep. to the episode. Yep. Yeah. And so she sent you money instead, and so that was the money you had to use to send her out. So the only thing you did for Issa was, which is still a good thing to do especially the first year this is actually this was our first advice. valentine's day exactly. together and i had no money but you cleaned the house mm. and you yeah so i mean still spot on but yeah. from there to no. this year Look well it's you. funny is last year i made her chocolate covered strawberries too that was hey. about the only thing i did i last mean year. still it's and a yeah, thought it's yeah a thought. and this yeah. year you did really I'm well. actually i made her dinner too this year yeah, yeah i bought dinner should. made it everything okay. like yeah and i don't ever cook yeah. ever so look at you stepping up. Getting there, baby sexy steps. Stuff. Hey, but we also say, like, don't come out guns a blazing exactly. at first with your gifts. Like, work it up. Like, I blew the waters away this Valentine's Day compared to last one. So, but I also you left didn't room. get the gift on time. Yep. I put the wrong date on it. So there's room for improvement. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. I spent way too much money on that oh. to have put the wrong date on it. That's why I don't want to look. Oh, funny. Because they got me with that original, like, Price is slashed, only thirty seven ninety nine, and I was like, bet. By the time I was done checking out, eighty freaking dollars. Oh, because of all the extra, all of and all this, the and then shipping stuff, and packaging. Jesus and, Christ! Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm just, I'm just gonna eat that. That's fine. Oh, I got a doozy one for you too, though, around the same lines. Okay. So my fucking Valentine's Day, I prepared for. I've been working on it because, guys, just so you know, you have a wedding out there. You have, you have, you have wedding and anniversary gifts. I'm sorry, Valentine's Day and anniversary gifts for at least another five years. Like I'm gonna, I'm, I'm fortunate enough to have a shit ton of pictures from our wedding. Yeah. So I have a lot of material. So just do to work something with. different with all the yes, pictures every year. Exactly. That's my thinking. Solid. That's my thinking. Yeah, and all the so. Etsy things out there nowadays, like yes. they they make a picture into anything you make into a cartoon. You yes. can put it into your favorite cartoon, yes. make yourself that theme. You can make a cutout of it. You can make a light thing of it. You can print your song. Like, Fuck yeah. yeah so there's yeah. so many different ways to do so a picture. That's exactly. I went on Etsy and I was like, okay, so newlywed gift, wife gift, stuff like that, right? And obviously it prints out, you know, or not prints out, it gives me a whole bunch of lists and this one of them is wedding songs and everything like that. So I was about to pay a decent amount of money to get our wedding song printed out. Oh, sorry, guys. <laughs> I don't know, freaking... Oh, today. Okay. But yeah, I was about to pay a decent amount of money, and then I looked at it, and I'm like, wait, I create thumbnails. I could probably create this. 
I could probably do this. No Interesting. problem. Interesting. So okay. I should. Yeah. So thank you, podcast. Yeah. Because I sure did take it to my fucking photo where I normally create a th- thumbnail, and I just created us a nice little. So exactly what you so- see on Etsy is a picture of us, and then next to it is our wedding song printed out and everything, mm. and certain things were accentuated. So I created it. I ordered it. With plenty of time, got it done, and then I was like, okay, it's our first wedding, you know, it's our first Valentine's Day as, a, as married. Right. So, you it's know, a big I'm going to do this, yeah. Um, and then I'm going to create, I'm also going to make a bouquet, right, you know, and now that I've purchased wedding flowers, I know how fucking expensive they are, and I yep. also know how to get cheap wedding flowers now, There too, you go. Right? Dollar so store, I was like, baby. Sam's, yes, I was like, Sam's Club, I see, yeah, you can, guys, you can spend a couple hundred bucks for two dozen roses Mm. or you can buy 50 roses from sam's make your own bouquet for 60 dollars big difference yeah right so i was like okay ordered 50 roses had my best friend order them so sam doesn't see Mm -hmm. um and had them delivered to my best friend's house you know so obviously sam doesn't see right right i was just gonna see my bestie the day before make the bouquet because sam was working the day before as well and then just hide it somewhere and bring it out on valentine's day right and I had the TikTok that showed me everything, and I was ready. Well, I ordered it, and the only day I could get it to come in was five days before Valentine's Day. It was supposed to come in on the 10th, right? Okay. So I was like, okay, well, I mean, some of them might be wilted, but I doubt Sam will care. You know, it'll, yeah, it's it'll be 50 a shit roses. ton of roses. Right. Yeah. Right. So if anything, I can throw away the wilty ones. So take the wilted ones, take the stems off, or take the leaves off, and yep. then put them in the bath or something. Yeah. Work with it. Yeah. yeah. So I was like, mm, it'd be fine. Well, the roses never showed up on Valentine's Day. And when they got delivered, it was literally 6 p.m. on the day of Valentine's Day. So there was no way in hell. And I started to clean the house and do shit, right? Yeah. So I was also at the store running around with all the husbands who forgot. And I was pissed because I was like, I didn't forget. I didn't forget. I ordered something. (laughs) I had it coming. I didn't didn't forget. forget. Yeah. But I was there. Yeah. So I That's had to pull some shit out of my ass. Um, went to Target, went to Dollar Tree, went to luckily my job is right by like a strip. Oh, so nice. literally I had Convenient. Dollar Tree, yeah, yeah, Party yeah. City, yeah. Five and Below, and Target all in one. Right. So I just boom, boom, boom during lunch. Mm. And I was like, all right, let me grab a bunch of things, grab some supplies, and some fucking groceries. <laughs> and uh went to town, came came home, and then I was like, okay, so I can at least cook her dinner and display i had also gotten her this nice really cute little stuffed dog that has a shark costume which if you know sam she loves sharks and she loves dogs so it was perfect a shark eating a dog it's just amazing um but yeah so get that and i was like okay well worst case i can i can turn my house into a spa you know, I can do the nice bath with the lotions and, you know, the foot bath. Yeah, and all yeah, stuff. yeah, and yeah. I can do something romantic. So yeah, that's what I did. I um, cooked a, a dinner, made a nice little charcuterie board of snacks, got her bath ready, uh, cleaned the apartment, and then found out that these chocolates that I had brought home from Arkansas, I literally weeks before, and I kept them here in the podcast room and everything like that, but I guess I... Shouldn't have kept them in the bottom drawer or something. I don't know. They were yeah. in here for a while, right? Before, and we had recorded, so I didn't. So they were. They've been they'd in here. Been in there, right? And they were. Ex- they were from a chocolatier. Literally, every truffle was individual. I had not tried anything like it was a very expensive box of chocolates. And my dog Lola ate them all. Yep. <laughs> I remember when you sent that in the group chat, and I was like, "Oh no." Fuck. Yeah. Fuck. I know. <laughs> yeah, Jesus. And the fact that you didn't even get to try one. Not one. And I know how much you like chocolate, too. I love chocolate. I Those were, and again, it's a, I don't, I normally can just do regular Wal, uh, Walgreens or Tom Thumb chocolate, you know, mm-hmm. grocery store chocolates. Yeah. No, you don't, I don't need to be fancy, but I was being fancy. Didn't work out. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. So that was mine. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, I saw your Snapchat story of it. From the looks of it, it didn't look thrown together at all. It oh. looked really solid. Yes. Yeah. It was good. Work with what you got, guys. Work with yeah. what you got. And I was like, I was watching Issa watch it, and I was like, damn, Denise, you're making me look bad. Stop posting that. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do that. <laughs> yeah, I really didn't do much, guys. I cleaned the house and then just made fancy stuff. So it was nice. Yeah. 
was, yeah, it was good. Effort, effort. And the little things count, guys. Yeah, if you, if yeah. you don't have anything to do, clean the house. Like, uh, yo, it's never underappreciated. That's all I used to do the first couple of years is mm-hmm. clean the house, clean the car. Yeah, mm-hmm. cause yeah. it's awesome. Someone did that for me for Valentine's Day. Solid. That's all you needed to do. Didn't cost you a dime either. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. Well, I think I think this is where we probably need to stop. Yeah, it sounds about good to me. We okay. okay. Ranted on a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. It's uh, the couch. I know. This is going to be nice. a new thing, guys. Yeah. We're like just going to get too comfortable. I like it. I like it. All right, guys. Well, um, that's the end of our episode. So if you liked what you heard, if you want to see more of it, if you want to support Lindsay and I, your humble lesbians, please hit that subscribe button. Yes. You guys are doing great. We've already jumped up like 12 subscribers in the last two months, which yeah. is way more than our average rate has been. So you guys are doing amazing. Appreciate Keep it, it. coming. Mm. keep it coming and mm. i know our video uploads are a little inconsistent guys but we're still here for you just go ahead and hit the notifications buttons turn on those uh turn on that bell that way you know every time we post you'll be immediately notified yes please all right yeah well um y'all take it easy out there we'll see y'all next time yeah thanks for watching i'm denise and i'm Lindsay, and we're born this gay.